Temper tantrums are very normal for kids to have and they usually start to appear between 12 and 18 months of age and actually they can get worse between ages 2 and 3 so you can look forward to that. But tantrums are a normal part of a kid's development because they don't quite know how to communicate their needs and wants and so they act out and sometimes that, that gets them what they want. So there are a couple of tips that I can give you but just keep in mind these are guidelines and every child is different so they may work for you or they may not but it's worth a try. Um, first of all, you'll want to stay calm. We're worried about our kids throwing tantrums, but sometimes parents throw tantrums to cure their child's tantrum. And, you know, we set an example for them. So you want to be calm and try not to return their tantrum with anger. Um, another tip is try distracting your child. Um, if you're going to the grocery store, then take his favorite toy or blanket or something and put it in your purse. And if he starts to act up a little bit, then pull it out. And maybe that will distract him enough to calm him down. The next tip you can try is time out. Um, a good rule of thumb is give him one minute of time out for every year he is old. For example, if he's one, then do it for one minute. The next tip is try to ignore minor displays of anger, such as hitting, kicking, and screaming, as long as it's not for extended periods of time. You can just kind of step away from him and let him do his thing for a second, or if you're at the grocery store and this isn't acceptable, um, then you can just try taking him out to the car until he calms down. However, on the other hand, if he's kicking and screaming to the point where he could hurt himself or others, or he's throwing things that could hurt himself or others or break something, then you need to promptly remove him from the situation and verbally tell him that those behaviors are not okay. Um, as I said earlier, these things are just guidelines and may work for you and your child or not. If you have more problems, um, if these things aren't working, then talk to your pediatrician and they may have more recommendations beyond what I've told you today. One thing that you'll want to make sure you never do when your child is throwing a tantrum is give in to it because that reinforces their bad behavior. I hope that these tips have been helpful and feel free to ask any other questions that you have on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.